Hello ladies and gents, I am Adiffin and welcome back to Stardew Valley at the Arbalane farm with Cyrus. So let us go have a look, see what the weather report is. And it's a part of my breeze. Nice done. Fortune teller. We got very happy today. Good fortune. Good. Living off the land. What have we got here? Crows. Get some stuff from there. Kill. And ooh, all my crops have grown up. Fantastic. Ah, Robin has lost her favourite axe. I know exactly where that is. Let's go grab all these potatoes. It's great. In fact, it's not going to bother planting anything else, I don't think. One good parsnip. Do need some more. Got some fertiliser zones there, though. In fact, I will plant some of these guys there. Don't want to waste of these. I might just plant more. And I'll water everything. Okay, that is all the crops done. Now it is time to go find Robin's axe. Let's see if there's anything in the area. Go to the community centre and do a ton of other things, such as give out gifts. So off we go. See what we can find. And there is Robin's axe, along with quite a nice haul of onions. Let's grab the axe. Yay, let's take it over to Robin. I quite like that. But also, while I'm there, I can still go find more forageable goods. Ooh, a little cutscene. Ew, it smells. Hmm. Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunter has the key. Professor Gunter? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this just has to be the match for a big rusty old key. Crazy noises. There's something moving around in there. Hello? And I'm scared. Okay, let's carry on. Ooh, excellent. Abby wants me to give her a cave carrot. I actually have one in my uh, chest, so I'll go do that. I'll say hello to her first. Hello. Can I cook dinner tonight? Oh dear. Can you not cook? Hello there. I would like to sell all those potatoes. Because now. I can upgrade the backpack. Which probably, you know, waited till after the, you know, I bought all the strawberries, but double inventory is so much nicer. I'll give people potatoes. Yeah, have a potato, Caroline. Ah, yes. Cook. Yeah, have a potato. That's very kind of you. I like this. And yes, give it a fair price. Excellent. Hello, Elliot. I'll also give you a potato. Everyone have a potato. Yes, yes. Potatoes for all. Have a potato. It's cool. Thanks. Everyone likes the potatoes. George and Evelyn, do you want potatoes? Oh, it looks wonderful. Yay! Everyone likes the potatoes. No matter, I'll go to the community centre and give Robin back her axe. Hello Robin, I have an axe for you. Here you go, you found the axe, what a relief. I'm going to chop the toe with the other one. Awesome, and you can also have a potato. Excellent, everyone's really happy, which is great. Go see Linus, see if he doesn't want a spring onion. Have a gold one with his name on it. Oh, and a leak. Let's go grab that. Hey, Linus. Oh, we're giving him two gifts this week. I'll speak to him anyway. Hello, do you want something? Yeah, that's cool. Now, head on back. Ooh, graphical glitch, yeah. Yeah, some of the graphical patches do mess some things up. 
Unfortunately, I'm not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her room. I have her cave carrot and a quartz for her. Which is a bit annoying. Let's see though, if I can go find something in these geodes, which would be nice. Oh, can't see Harvey. I wonder if he's gone to the saloon. You do slowly gain friendship by just talking to each villager on like a daily basis, so you get about 10 or 20 friendship points compared to the 160 odd you get from giving them a gift. Well, blacksmith's not open, here's Clint. Yeah, I wanted to give you this, but apparently you don't want any gifts, so... Annoying. Let's see if I can't find Abigail, give her a cave carrot and quartz, then... Probably chopped some trees down to spend all my energy this day. No, she's not here yet. She sometimes comes here. Oh, no, it's Fridays, I think she comes. Which everyone comes at the bar on Fridays. Bet I can't get in. Or can. Just. Oh, she's gone to bed. Darn it. Well, try and give you the cave carrot tomorrow then, Abigail. Ooh. Ah, it's Linus. Rummaging around in the bins there. Hmm, it seems like raccoons are again. Filthy varmints. Ah, you turned to the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favour? Could you go around the corner and scare out those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I've had a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff which would go to waste if I don't take it. It's true, you can find ridiculous stuff in these bins. Like diamonds. You can actually find diamonds, I think. Diamonds, like entire loaves of bread, tons of stuff. Um. Well, he does live on his own. He's been out of the way. I think it's, it is a shame for it to go to waste. I think it is a bit. Silly, it's you know, yeah, it is. It's private property, but it has also gone to the bin. So, thanks, so, Alice. I knew an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. It is true. Just don't make a mess. But that probably was the raccoons. You can go on home. I promise, we won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters just for you. Just make sure to dip them in my spicy marana. Go on, take it. That's very friendly of Gus. I mean, actually, when is the next birthday? Let's quickly go check that. Oh, I could always check the wiki in that, but it's better to just check it in game. So next is Haley's birthday after the egg festival. Okay. So I think a daffodil. I should, I should probably get a daffodil by then, which I'll keep hold of her because I think she loves those. For the rest of tonight, though, I'm just going to chop a load of trees down. I made a decent haul of the wood there. It's probably enough. There's enough to give to the community centre, so let's just lob them all in there and head on to bed. See how much I've earned. Let's go to sleep. So, farming level two, got additional proficiency all over the place, a new mayonnaise machine, which is nice, and I can now actually craft the sprinklers. Unfortunately, I don't have any when near enough resources to make it, but it's good. And also, 680 from the produce combined with 1200, which I made prior. That is really nice. <laughs> so today I think I might go to the mines again. So what's the weather report? It is sunny for the egg festival. Excellent. Fortune teller. 
Um, I said, will not be on my side. Okay, so that means it's not a good idea to actually go to the egg f to do that um, mining, which is a bit of an annoyance. But let's do the watering. Well, that is all the watering done. Now it's time to head over into town, uh, though a little bit early, so hmm, should have probably waited. No matter. Ooh, Carter's here with a rare seed. I shall buy one because it's going to be very useful. And ooh, I might get a tulip for the Haley actually. Yeah, three hundred. Because uh, I haven't found one, and it is tomorrow. Uh, it's not well tomorrow. I won't be able to find any because of the festival. So basically, if I don't find one today, which I haven't done yet. So I'm actually going to buy one. Probably a waste. And I bet I'm going to turn around this corner and find a daffodil. Still, a tulip is a decent gift. And at 300 that's a good price for one. Whereas most light gifts, I think, sell out of like, it's about four or 500 normally expect to pay for a gift for someone. Ideally, they love gift, but most light gifts are around that sort of price. Anyway, here is Abigail. Here, I have a quartz. Hey, how do you know I was hungry? See? She likes eating rocks. Definitely going to enter the egg hunt tomorrow. Are you? Yes, I am. Also, I have a cave carrot for you. Hmm, this isn't exactly as I thought it would be, but that's not your fault. Thank you. Excellent. 75 gold. Not that great, but better than nothing. What do you got to sell? A lot, not a lot there. I also don't have that much money. I really shouldn't have bought that rare seed. Because now I have no money for the actual strawberries. I can only buy three. That was a mess up on my part. I should not have bought that rare seed. Ugh. Darn it. No matter. I will figure out something. Well, the geodes, I found some copper and a dwarfish helm. So the helm, I am going to go over to Gunter. Donate to the museum. Put that there. Excellent. Now I need to go figure out where on earth I'm going to get a load of money from. All my careful planning of, you know, not making making sure all the food that comes out at the same time so I can afford as many seeds as possible. And I buy a rare seed, a tulip, and an expanded backpack. That is, you know, over you know, three and a half thousand gold I could have put into a ton of straw views which have netted me an absolute fortune. What am I going to do? So I have sold some various other little items but I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get a load of money from fishing here at the ocean in order to afford as much strawberry seeds tomorrow as possible. Yes I made a big mess up. Yes, it was the short term versus the long term. And I've been planning for the long term for ages. And yeah, a real big problem. Excellent, got a chest. What is in the chest? Some seeds, some copper, and some coal. Nice!
Ooh, another chest. This time, an amphibian fossil. Nice. Getting a little bit late. Energy is doing still well. Probably earn more money if I had done this in the mountain lake, but I find, personally, I find these fish a little bit easier to get hold of. So, if you don't have an axe and you need to get a chest up, just go to an empty slot like this and keep on clicking. It should eventually come up, which is great if you haven't got any energy. Nice little trick. Now though, let's go head on back to the farm and sell all this stuff and hopefully I will earn enough to make a decent amount for tomorrow's festival. Well, that is today done. Let us see how much money I've earned. And speak to the cat. Meow, do you do? Go to sleep for the night. So, level two up in fishing. New recipe bait. Nice. And now, the moment of truth. So, I sold a load of these things. Good amount for the horseradish and that. Yeah, that is good. Sold all the good quality ones. Nice amount from the fishing and a little bit from the minerals. Excellent, 104,900. Nice. Excellent, I can get 18. I think they're only 100 a pop. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Stargy Valley with myself, Anna Diffin. If you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like and or comment below, as it is always great to hear from you lot. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I shall see you next time. But until then, I am out. Goodbye!